Okay, well, you are in a situation that uh, you have written uh, all of your scripts and uh, you are going to publish, for example, at Asset Store or for other reasons you would like uh, to have all these scripts in one DLL and for this purposes uh, we have developed this compilation and build uh, tool so let me show you a simple example uh, we have de developed for iOS uh, a keyboard hook that means we are able to capture all the key codes uh, directly from hardware keyboard on iOS and um, for this I have these two scripts that I would like to publish uh, on the asset store but okay for some reasons I don't want to uh, put their um, the scripts uh, but the deal uh, yeah so uh, all I need to do just clear all this out and uh, I just I will just select this okay I can also select directory doesn't matter and I see I'll okay, the selection here uh, and okay I add these oh, no, not these these okay uh, edit scripts you see okay these scripts are going to be compiled uh, I have deal here the references libraries that means uh, you check here the libraries that will be referenced uh, by our scripts and these are uh, all the libraries that you have in, in your project so uh, as you see uh, I checked the Un unity engine and unity editor because they are directly uh, referenced by these and others are not needed right now. So I will try the compilation success. Okay, and I will build this into okay, let's see, keyboard hook. Yes. Press save. And that's it. The keyboard binding is defined multi multiple times because right now they are residing uh, in the DLL and also here. So if you have, if I delete the keyboard binding, uh, you see that this DLL is working now, and there is no error at all. So and in this way you can put uh, scripts, your scripts into one DLL, and you can publish your DLL through Asset Store. Okay, bye bye. Thank you.